Hey everybody, John L here. Tonight we are playing Space Harrier 2. Uh, this is an early launch title for the Sega Genesis. It's a uh, rail shooter uh, space game. It's a sequel to the uh, first Space Harrier game uh, on the Sega Master System, which is a lot of fun. Um, really simple. You just run around and shoot things. Um, you know, enemies fly at you, things shoot at you, there's a boss at every level, so... Pretty cool game. Um, so, one of the fun things about this game is... Um, it only has, like, a start button. There's no menu, but there is a menu if you hit the A button. And then you get this guy right here. So you can choose um, to make the direction, like, normal or reverse. Um, there's the rapid fire, which I used last time when I beat it. I'm not a fan just because, um, you can only have four shots on the screen and they all fire like immediately when you're using rapid fire. So I kind of like actually pressing the button, uh, difficulty. We're going to go on normal and that's it. And boom, nice, peaceful, calming title screen right there okay so this game has 13 stages um, you actually can select um, any of them so you think oh, okay why don't I just go to 12 and then I can just play only twice well you actually have to make it through every stage before you actually get to the final one so um, the first land is stun area um, really easy um, they kind of get progressively more difficult um, the further you go. Um, there's just different enemies, um, more things you can run into and stuff like that. So what I found actually works for me is starting at Fall Pyrum, Fall Pyrum, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is stage six, and what I do is if I can make it through stages six through twelve without like dying or without um, completely, you know, failing. Um, the first six stages ought to be pretty easy, so. In other words, you know, if it's a bad run, then I can just kind of quit before, you know, getting through the easy levels because I know for a fact that I can get through the easy levels. Oh, already a good start. Get ready. So, the game has a, like an interesting point system. Um, basically, for however long you're alive, you get points. And killing enemy get, enemies gets you extra points as well. And I don't know exactly what the um, number is, but then you'll get an extra life. And it's actually pretty generous, which is another reason why I kind of want to do this whole start at stage six thing because um, you kind of accrue the same or similar points and if you can make it through the uh, difficult stages that's just gonna give you a whole bunch of extra lives towards the end so we'll see how this goes um, the stages are all pretty quick and there's no stopping in between so in between videos. I will actually be pausing and um, resuming like in the next video. Kind of like the uh, Rambo 3 video. Sorry about the lack of talking, but this game kind of does involve concentration. I mean, Dodging is pretty basic. As you can see, you just kind of want to rotate. Alright. Well, anyways, I'll let the next stage start. Alright, so I'm going to pause it right there. And then um, we'll resume uh, after a quick little break. So I'll see you guys in a bit.